what's up and safe here and today my palate was craving for some Japanese food there are tons of Japanese restaurants to choose from here in Davao and to be honest I was having a difficult time to decide which Japanese place we should go for today so I thought I want something that would give you the Japan vibe as you dine so this place we're going right now the Tai Shouzen Japanese restaurant is absolutely perfect so if you guys ready to have a taste and feel the Japan vibe let's head there It's like a portal to a different dimension. You can immediately transport it to Japan. The ambience inside, you can definitely feel the Japan vibe, the architecture, everything is in Japanese inspired. And then actually we have here some complimentary food. We have some tea and I guess this one's bamboo shoot. Let's have a taste of this one. Yeah. It's definitely chewy. The strong flavor of the soy. You can definitely tell that this one is sauteed. I like the aroma of the sesame on this one. This is good. Let's have a taste of their tea. Mm. This tea is actually good. I mean, because usually when you have a tea, it's so grassy. But this one's just mild. Maybe. Uh, earthy flavor. We ordered a couple of the food. So we have the seafood ramen, we have the miso ramen, we have the konomiyaki, chicken karage, salmon sashimi, and the tuna gyoza. We have a lot of side dishes to enjoy. To be honest, I don't know where to start, but since the one that's close to me right now is the okonomiyaki, so yeah, let's start with the okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is basically the pancake version of the takoyaki. Both okonomiyaki and takoyaki originated from Osaka. So there's actually two kinds of okonomiyaki. One is the Osaka okonomiyaki and the second one is the Hiroshima okonomiyaki. So how do we distinguish the difference between the two okonomiyakis? It's very simple. If you see a yakisoba inside the pancake, then that's the Hiroshima version. If there's none, then that's just the regular or the Osaka okonomiyaki. I guess enough talking, let's start eating. has the yakisoba inside the pancake so I would say this one's Hiroshima version of the okonomiyaki let's finally have a taste of this one mm. yeah. really hot though. I need to be careful mm. Mm. it's piping hot I almost burned my tongue the sauce is the same with the takoyaki original takoyaki sauce it's very aromatic the aroma of the katsu ponchi is very strong and I like that. Mm. Mm. And also I must say the QP mayonnaise of Japan is one of the most or I say one of one of the most savory, one of the most delicious mayonnaise in the world. It's so good because it complements any kind of food. Really awesome. Mm. Mm. That 
pickled ginger really makes a difference. Elevated levels of the flavor of this entire konomiyaki. Right, so now let's try one of their ramen. So we ordered two ramen. We have the seafood ramen and the miso ramen. We don't want for these ramen to wait for too long. Try the seafood ramen first. A lot of seafood ingredients, we have the shrimp, crab sticks, squid, some bamboo shoots as well, onions, scallions, and the seaweed. First, let's have a taste of the broth. Broth is just mild. It's not that aggressive. But the aftertaste of the broth definitely will give you that seafoody flavor. Mmm. Mmm. The crab sticks are so flavorful. Very strong fragrance of the seaweed. Mmm. Chase it with some vegetables. Mm. I like the components of this seafood ramen. Everything's so mild, but as soon as you finish slurping on the broth and chewing the al dente noodles, it gives you that very satisfying aftertaste. This seafood ramen is incredible. Right, so now let's move on to the second ramen that we have. This one is the miso ramen. This miso ramen is pork based broth. It's like the usual composition of any ramen. The Naruto fish cake, we have the egg, the chashu or the roasted pork, and some minced pork on top of this ramen. So one thing I noticed about this miso ramen, the broth is more thicker than the previous one. So yeah, let's finally have a taste of the broth of this miso ramen. Ooh, mm. Now this broth is more richer. Mm. This broth is very rich with flavor. It's so rich that it can buy a house and a car on its own. No kidding. I'm really loving the flavor of this miso ramen. Combination of pork and miso flavor. And it's so good. It's so mesmerizing. You don't want to be talking as you are eating this ramen. that I haven't mentioned yet is how perfectly authentic these noodles are. It gives you that amount of chew and I like that as you chew these noodles it gives you that flavor of this awesome broth. Mm. Now let's do this one biter, the tamago and the noodles. That bite was so creamy because of the egg. And at the same time, it's so gentle and delicate. It's so gentle that it almost put my tongue to sleep. Now let's do another one biter. The pork, chashu, and the noodles. That bite was tremendous. The pork is so juicy, tender, succulent. It's so tender that it just melts my world apart. Before we totally get full, let's have a taste of the side dishes that we have. We have the tuna gyoza, we have the salmon sashimi, and the chicken karage. So let's start with the gyoza first. actually my first time to have a tuna gyoza. I must say it's amazing. This gyoza is so good that you don't want to be bad your entire life. You just want to be this angelic piece of thing that enters your mouth. It 
has a very strong fragrance of the cilantro, which I really like because it goes so well with the seafood flavor of the tuna. Mm. Mm. And I also like the sauter crunch and the roasted part of this gyoza. So now let's finally have a taste of the salmon sashimi. Mm. That bite was just glorious. Immediately melts on my tongue. Almond definitely has this very distinct flavor and it's so addictive. It's like frenzy. Once you activated it, there's no stopping from this one. In the words of the great DJ Khaled, another one. It's like the entire cast of the little mermaid inside of my mouth and they are all serenading me just to satisfy me as I was eating this salmon in sashimi. Mm. Mm. So now this time let's have a taste of their chicken karate. Mm. Mm. The chicken is not that much tender, but it is extremely rich with flavor. Mm. I don't know that much Japanese, but I know this one's Oishi. Let's get back to the miso ramen. Now it's time to take down this ramen. Chase it with some salmon sashimi. Mm -hmm. That is just heavenly blessed thing inside of my mouth. So for dessert, we got the vanilla ice cream and the mango tempura. Actually, this got my attention because I haven't tried a tempura that has mango inside. So yeah, let's try and have a bite on this one. That is surprisingly good. I would say the vanilla ice cream is overly sweet and it goes so well with the batter of tempura and the mango. Few moments later. Alright, so how was it here at Tai Shouzan Japanese restaurant? It was amazing. Everything here is superb and incredible. Every food that I've tried here is overly amazing. Everything's delicious. The two ramens that we have with rich with flavor. The side dishes, the salmon sashimi, my favorite. The tuna gyoza, my first time. It was so surprisingly good for me. The chicken karate has that subtle crunch. And it was perfect for me as well. The place itself is very cozy. The moment you walk through their door, you will be immediately transported to Japan. I would really recommend you guys to visit this place. They are located at Subrikari Street at Obrero. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is Mihan's Dave. And I'll see you on the next one.